he's gonna be he's gonna be trading tanks instead. That's tanks in Bastion and in Debo. So it might be the Bastion could work. Either he's not filling his main role back. The damage boosted widow coming in, let's see if she can get any picks. Doesn't seem like it against the Rhine Shield. He is stroking in now, trying to get into the back line. Drops unprotected against the but Genji dies oh. in a wrist, kills off Swift. Valkar, meanwhile, charges out the defensive bash of Tega and drops finishes off Burn Thunder's turret. Valkar swinging hard on this point, picks up Symmetra as well. She does have that TP up, but she won't be able to use it once she's dead. Burn Thunder though does try to keep you back up with the Kevin's drops, but meanwhile, Valkar with a lovely sharpening of Kayman and Burn Thunder and the hammer to finish off Caveman. Absolute steamroll from the side of one trick. Swift going for a contest here. Taker setting a fashion form. Shooting her, flexing Genji. Taker, no! <laughs> oh no. This, this is not looking well for Team Flex. I mean. Team One Trick now has tilt advantage, they're close to Genji Blade, they have Shatter, they have a free Shatter. Team Flex has nothing against the Shatter. I mean, they, they don't even have a res. But if you have a teleporter up, imagine they place on that teleporter, try to get on point A, couldn't actually finish it off. But she does get the TP on second point, I believe it's up in Boiler, the general normal spot. It's in Subway. Like. Subway, it's Subway. I'm, I'm not watching it. But uh, we see Taken now saying a flash with no protection, but he does kill Drops despite that. Shoots at another deflecting Genji, and a shatter from Barkal, a blade from Adris. Adris does die to the Torn Both Rezzes come out. Two Rezzes come out, both Kimo Rezzes. Both factions being resurrected. Adris for the for the attacker side coming back up as the Symmetra for the defensive side. And... Like yeah, Team focus. Flex. Team Flex got this. Take wow. For the Seema after the rest and Valkar with a brutal May Freed from Swift. And now the auto advantage has, has totally shifted. Tega's close to his ult, Swift is close to his ult, Caveman has his ult, Symmetra has an oh active but drops! Uh, bit of an aggressive style play there onto Tega, but now Tega's out position the pillow, tries to ult, can't get it off, that's the Bastion ult not available for the defensive side, 14 flex. And now they're going to be engaging the two main tanks looking very strong. Valkar charges in. He doesn't have much support. He might go down and he does go down to Caveman. Meanwhile, Radacious Phantom going to pick up the slack for his main tank friend. Winston ulting. A demon bomb from Caveman. There is no main thing to shield that, but it doesn't get anything. Meanwhile, Swift with his mail does put it down. Does not get any kills with it. Gets picked off by drops instead. And now drops on the Bastion. Aiming for the Mercy. Aiming for AF Fame. And takes him down. Now Tega is back. With a Bastion ult, again with the deflecting Genji, deflects his bullet and then drops, comes back and kills him. It's only K-Man left, left in the hero, out of mech, tickled by Bodacious Fam, charged by Valkar. Complete brutality to him and it's now Burn Thunder alone, dead to Bodacious Fam. It's very, it's very... is trying to desperately stall for her team. I, I'm not yeah, sure, yeah. Team Montrick are looking very confident right now to solo rest for Torbjorn. Oh, Ta Tiger is... In a very, very flank situation, what no, goes down? We see on here though, Burn Thunder using his Molten Core, trying to keep his team in it. The trouble is that they're getting the picks, but for these picks they're dying one by one, and they're destroying this pedal bit by bit, they're trying to stall Caveman on the pedal from behind, but Drops is so savage on this Bastion! Three kills! A Torbjorn turret, a Torbjorn and a Mercy! So important! And he drops Caveman out of mech! The baby's gonna go down to him as well, Drops! The bashing is uncontested, unkillable! It's only Swift on the May, trying to contest, trying his hardest, trying to freeze out drops. Black Dragon picks off Swift in the end, drops pushes it in, Valkar charges, Tiger drops, what was that? The bashing was so well. What a what a what, what are these comps? I'm loving it. Also, why will the stream is dead? Question mark. I realize. <laughs> you, should, you should check that out, dude. Let's see who the player of the game comes from, though. It is the, it is the Genji. Golden Genji. Let's see what he does. <laughs> Lovely slicing coming up from Adrist. As a Genji main, I approve. I'm not, I'm not a pro streamer. I don't have a fake stream. <laughs> oh, no. 
It's nice to feel appreciated. I think she's back up. I'm not sure though. I think I fixed it. I might, we might have just missed the end of that game there. If we did miss it, what, it one trip did end up finishing the map. Did end up taking it one there with a great play from drops. A savage bastion play there to shred down team flex. Okay, the stream is back up. Stream is back up, and the next map is Volskaya Industries, which is a map that really does favour Bastion quite nicely on that first and second point. It's quite an anchory map, a lot of chokes to bust through, and Bastion really, especially against, especially when players aren't maybe the most coordinated to deal with him, that's where he's most lethal. Yeah, I mean, the Bastion has been wrecking havoc on both sides, and it's. I know I've been repeating this, but this is so fun to see these off-meta comps. You don't see the, you, you don't see this in pro games. You see this in the Scruff Cup. This is why you should watch the Scruff Cup. It's good. So yeah, the Scruff Cup is a sub 2,500 SR tournament. It's open for anyone below plats of gold, bronze, and silver players are allowed to play. Uh, you get sorted into teams, and you get a coach assigned to you. Your games get casted by casters like me and Timu. Hopefully ones that have better production than me and Timu. But, you know, it's everyone in the tournament is kind of a scrub. All the players are scrubs. They're sub-2500. There are new casters, coaches trying to learn, support staff trying to get their name out there. It's all, it's all in the name of learning is the Scrub Cup, and I believe it's one of the best ways to go from low gold up to diamond even higher. Yeah, you definitely should check it out. We should have the link links up in the description in the about. So if you want to come along to our Discord server, meet one of our friendly admins, meet one of our friendly support staff like Timu and I, we can get you sorted into a team, we can get you a coach, and we can get you good. That's yes. We... Everyone's friendly here. Please do join. It's amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And I think both teams are ready and we should go on with the game. Go into the Sky Industries. Yeah, I, I am looking forward to seeing more Bastion and Symmetra. Like, this is 100% gonna come out from both teams. And it seems that... Uh, uh, I never know which team is attacking first. <laughs> so, so... We see the team of Team Flex gonna be attacking first. Yeah, Bodacious Fam, Adrift, Adrift, Bellasima, Varkar drops and Black Dragon looking to slot in that attack. A Bastion being one on both sides, Burn Thunder picking up the defensive side, dropping her up for the attack. We also have Symmetra playing D.Va, and uh, Tiger playing on that tall while Swift plays Junkrat. We saw him very offensive and very lethal on that King's Row attack, 14 one trick last time. And 8 to Fate Mate on the Zaya. Played Mercy last round, looks like he possibly pushed around the rolls a little bit on the side of Team One Trick. Well. They need a healer. Oh, they get they get swift as mercy. There's there's a lot of here. Yeah, as you said, there's a lot of role switching going around. I mean, this is the first time these people have played together, so I think it's kind of it is kind of you know expected. And it is, and it is team flex. It is team flex. It's in the name to maybe switch about their roles a little bit, but. On the attacking side, that is team one trick. To enjoy some peace and we are going to be seeing, I believe that's a Torben attack. Yes, Torben on both sides. Bellasima and Drops playing Bastion on attack as well. So, we're going to be the spawn is going to be opening now. Both teams looking to repel each other with a Bastion. Both teams using a Torb. Both teams using a Diva. The Ryan Shield comes up. Bash is gonna shred that one, Miss Instantly. The Bash, the Bash, you make sure that won't hold forever. I'm not sure what team, how, how team One Trick is gonna attack this. Are they just gonna get the Bash instead of behind the Ryan Shield and shoot? Oh no, Malka oh, just charge. charges in. Ball that team. Here. Not much support. His team has to get with him, and they do. A Driss closes that space and picks off Torb's turret. Meanwhile, Black Dragon. Picks off Swift. That was a very nice round trial from Varkal to get some space. Now he charges out Burn Thunder. Oh, that goes down. He doesn't get taken away from Metro, though. Burn Thunder is so close to his soul. If he can get, get him up and get some value out of this, I think Whoa. Team Flex may be able to hold this. Burn Thunder shredding them. A Driss, though. King of 
three eliminations, four eliminations in that fight, just getting so many final hits. Not only so much the diva out of mech that survives. Drops actually made his way to the high ground there and then death in the boss. Swift is going for it. Swift of Swift. Swift has no show. Just goes in there. You could say that was a swift death. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, Swift is staggered now. She has to get back. She's May. I believe that was a tough What? May. We try to avoid this point. Adris very close to his dragon, but he gets picked up before he can use it. Ninety-eight percent can't get it in this fight. It's gonna turn it in favor of Team Flex. Nobody's looking at Burn Thunder. Why can't charge Jenny? You can charge a Bastion. What are you doing? A Res Burn Thunder using his tank form. A Graviton Surge. From A to Fate, they a Diva Bomb as well! So many else come out, so many with a 3 man oh, Diva Bomb! Oh my god, drop! It drops though, picking up 2. Bastion by himself eventually dies. What a Diva Bomb from the Symmetra. Oh, what, what a game. I'm crying. This is amazing. Swift goes. sacrifices the Mercy to go. May. They have solo heals as Zen and it's working. This is, a, this is amazing. That Zen is getting pretty close to his transcendence though, and we're going to be saying Rops have his bashing up and Black Dragon have his Diva Bomb. Valkarth throws out Fire Strike, trying to get a pick, trying to get some damage and trying to charge up his Fire Strike and he has it now. He's sure he's got to use it, they have no counter, what a f- what a he doesn't get burned under the Burn doesn't go down, he, they can't engage off that because Burn doesn't go down. They do use the demon one, but you think that's good. But that trap did not reach Burn Thunder. Burn Thunder stays up, he won't stay up for long enough. The drop takes him out with a lovely tank bomb. Drops on the moving platform. Drops drops down with a Drish's Dragon Blade, picking off Cave Man and AF Fate Mate. Meanwhile, AF Fate Mate did with a Black Dragon, and now it's only Taker and Symmetra. Taker goes down after killing drops down to Black Dragon, now it's only Symmetra. So it's now it's just. Die. Now it's just stalling. It's just a yeah, full now, Burn Thunder coming back. In this time playing the Genji drops, just destroying them one by one, they're not focusing him. He's getting free damage, picks off Burn Thunder. Volfar swings at Caveman. Ada Feymaker's is back, Swift is back, Corby's back, Diva and Meg, but she is back. Adris slashes through Ada Feymaker. It's only Swift, he gets taken out by the Bastion. Taking a second on my bar card, Symmetra out of Meg. Genji can't make it to the point. 4 minutes and 35, they've gained time there. That is a very comfortable time bank. Let's see if. I mean, let's see if they can actually repeat the attack side. Can they do? Can they attack as fast as they did? I must say, this is really amusing. I'm like laughing. This is amazing. So the comps are very interesting to say the least they're not the most conventional comps we're seeing a lot of flexing from both sides despite being team one trick address showing he can play a lot he's played a bit of genji i believe he played um what was it? i can't remember he played he's played genji trace and i think it was made for a time on the last hold on king's row but he is going to be going back onto that genji he was hovering tracer but attack john grant i like it we are seeing attack junkrat from swift he did this on king's row and it was it was effective for a time, I believe he eventually had to switch, but Swift, Swift actually does try to prank the cast a little bit, switches back to Mercy instead of playing that Junkrat. So the overall comps on attack, we're seeing a pretty basic dive comp, not running a Winston, instead of running a Zaya Diva, but other than that, a pretty standard Far Mercy dive. We're on the defense, we have the workings of a standard dive, possibly with the Mercy, but then they have some sort of flair to it. They have the Orissa from Valkar and the Bastion from Drops. And so much of Drops Bastion is so brutal and lethal and absolutely destructive this game. And it's been it's been effective to say least. <laughs> I must agree. The thing is, nobody is focusing Bastion on either team. The Bastion just uh, doing their own thing, shooting stuff and killing stuff from both teams. And it's just who plays Bastion better? But Team Flex doesn't have a Bastion. I think they've lost this already. They do have quite a few Bastion counters though. If they swap this Bastion, they can take him down, but it's a matter of if they can swap this Bastion. The Fleck coming up, trying to carry him out. But it just does get low due to that, the Fleck has to re heal all of that health. If Symmetra can defend Matrix, the Bastion, and they can fight him at the same time, they could take him out. But it's a matter of team qualification, and they not seeming to have that confirmation early on in this match. Right now they're just poking at the choke, trying to see what they can do, trying to pick up this Bastion. 
they can't seem to get anything done. I mean, the pharmacy is going fairly unnoticed here, but how much can a pharmacy do against an Orisa Sebastian? I mean, you can only do so much. The, the diva is out of mech. This isn't looking good. They're not pushing in team flex. Actually, pharmacy going very deep. The mercy is alone. The mercy is gonna go down. Oh no. The mercy is on the alone. Oh no. What? Symmetry got put out of mech, and it's almost the, as that happened. Team flex almost started to push once she was out of mech, in a way. Taking a big off a drift there does give them a little bite. They could push it. They do have the barrage coming up very soon. They could use to get them some leverage. But it seemed like they started to push when the big mech was down. Tay gets picked up by Black Dragon, the Diva picks off the Zenyatta there, and it's not looking good. They're getting picked off one by one on this attack, they're not regrouping correctly, and they're getting punished for it. They're not being able to engage as a team. This is, this is my average of Sky comp game. Like, nobody pushes through the choke. It's hard because you don't have the team godation. You don't have the loose speed boost. You don't have the ini initiation against this Bastion. Okay, Diva goes in. So That's some initiation. Is exactly what they need. The Fenris is not going exactly onto the Bastion, but instead going onto the Diva. So Metro trying to get some space, gets knocked out by the Bastion, but Bastion does go down, drops it down. And we're seeing a blade from Bone Thunder. A Gravitron is a red blade! And a barrage! No. Five kills! <laughs> Keep man, oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I am taking the objective. This what? was, this was the push they needed. I'm, I, I'm, I'm speechless. That was an absolutely amazing objective. play. The, the graviton, the blade, the beat drop. The but there was just too much damage there. Caveman's ult came through, and now if they can steam on us, it looks like they could even He's possibly the beat Team One Trick's time. Team One Trick has the massive ult advantage. A blade coming up, a bastion ult, a res, and they're very Boys. close to the supercharger. Why is Symmetra not getting in her mech? There we go. I mean, Team One Trick has the ult advantage though. Yeah. Look, uh, Drops is going dangerously low, but that's Bastion self heal. Gotta love it. They're holding on point here. Symmetra dives in again. This is exactly what we did last fight, and it worked for them. They just get put out of mech. They force it drops out of the Bastion form, out of this configuration sentry. But now his configuration tanks. Takes out Symmetra with that. But they just found. What was that? Drops! He directs a fire with oh. a Bastion ult. Oh my god. This flash and play from Drops is exemplary, and now it's only eight of Fei left on that Zaya. Trying to pick up a Drift, he's high charged, but he can't do much with it when he's 1v6. I don't think that that, fa that fight was okay for Team Flex, just because they got uh, many ults off of Team One Trick. So they're gonna have the game made up, the Graviton up fairly soon, Diva Bomb. They should, they should be looking good here. If the Graviton gets off, like it did last, last point, and the Mercy gets in there, then they got this, I believe. I think that Mercy was available as well. So it, it should be like what you said, they're just charging up their ults here, fighting with the choke, not getting much done, but it's when they have, you know, five ults coming up here. Came on the Raykers and Burns on that's exactly what they need. Burns on a picks off drops. Symmetra chucks in that Diva Bomb, can't get anything, but it does get them time to space. They now have the point in their favor. The Tide goes down to nice. Barco, harassing their backline. <laughs> Eight of Fate is home. They both have two. Picks up Black Dragon and Bradacious Fan. Black Dragon does use his Diva Bomb to get Eight of Fate, mate. Symmetra out of Mech. Burn Thunder kills Arbarco, but Drops is back and he's uncontested still. Burn they have the Rez. Rez is out Symmetra. She's still out of Mech. Does get into her Mech, but they've got back in time. Team Wanchuk are back on this point. It's now a 4v2. It's only Symmetra. She can't win this fight. I must say, Eight of Fate. Hold on to the Graviton search for so long. There were there were three people on point. Diva was, didn't have a defense matrix up, but she decided to hold on to it. I'm not sure what the uh, decision was there, and but they do have Graviton Barrage now. But now so she's hold on maybe. For so long, they have the beat drop and the reds available. Both defense results up to the side of Team One Trick with a blade and a tank mode available. Meaning, even if this grab goes through perfectly, it's unlikely it will wipe a team My with both of those support ults. They need to either bait them out with charging. great dive play, or they need to pray that they somehow get them out of them this fight and then grab Barad next fight. There's no way they can do this here. Yeah, and especially with this Bastion just harassing them on this high ground. And drops just doesn't let them in. Drops just closes the door. And the game should just be going in for the Bastion, deflecting, giving his team space, but... As you say, going in for the Bastion, Symmetra goes in very deep against Drops. 
gets knocked out of mech by the Bastion with support. Meanwhile, Adris is at 8 of Fate, mate. Caveman knocks Black Dragon out of mech. His Tiger left by himself on the point. Mercy and Burn Thunder do escape. That's Swift and Burn Thunder escaping there. Drops in his tank mode, though. He does kill Burn Thunder, though. And Even more stagger. I mean, they have two minutes now. I think it's still enough. It is enough Drops is Drops is BMing. Drops is saying wrecked. Wow. What a beast. I mean... It was a pretty nice Bastion shot, you have to admit. And now I there's mean, the Graviton Blade, Graviton Dragon Blade combo for the defensive side. Adrist and Barkov having both of those up. It's still so both defensive lots available. Yeah, but both teams are close to having all of the roles. So this is just... This is this is very crucial. Whoever wastes models, just fight. Most is going very low though. The Farah. Farah's one. Nobody's killing the Farah. Oh, Bastion goes down. Mech by Cape Man. And now Tiger going in with some Yard Blood. Taking the blood. A Graviton Surge! Oh. A Mirage! A Blade! It's oh. the same thing twice! But they got counted! A Black Dragon! Oh. A Black Dragon Devil and picks off three. And now it's a Driss. Speaking of warning, out! Triple kill for Driss! A Driss! Oh my god! He can keep his alive for his team! Tiger and Samaritan, they're the only ones left. Tiger and Caveman, may I say. And Tiger is pulling the three stars. It's Caveman! The Resurrection Fruit for the season to clean it up. Oh my, it's. Only what is this fight? What is this? <laughs> every they busted their proverbial nuts in terms of ults there, using everything, the... using everything except oh. from Symmetra's diva bomb. What did Adris do? Ad Ad uh, he like one fived. Adris. <laughs> oh Adris my Adris. god! We also came man with that lovely barrage, knocking out so yeah. many, and then the counter grab from Valkal also, and that. We've seen this far west take a lot of this left side flank route. Going up to the left side with Symmetra, with the with Burn Thunder, with the Diva, with the Genji, just coming in and flanking behind. They're doing the exact same thing here. Caveman flying up into the sky, but he does get picked up by drops, but Symmetra uses his Diva and can't get anything with it though. So now they're down one. The attacking side, Team Flex, they're down one. And now they're down three. The only pick they've gone with Burn Thunder. Swift goes down to a two. Two, two. Both supports being killed for that Genji made me saw three kills in the last fight before. This is the this is to win the game. Burn that gets taken down some extra on a mech. She's only a baby. She cannot get back onto this point. Team one trick. Two oh. oh. What a game. I mean, for a 2-0 oh, this was pretty close. Do we want to get in somebody for an interview? Uh, I think I, I think we need like almost every single player has their own moment in that game. <laughs> There yes. were so many great moments, so many savage bombs, and this is what you see in the Scrub Cup. It's... When you see the pro scene, ult is saved for the perfect timing to get up two kills. One kill. And that's the best thing to do. They're not saved for these perfect five kill moments. They're saved until you can get two, until you can just get a small leverage in the fight. Oh, look but at people, this. they saved it for this. For Caveman's <laughs> ultimate wipe. And this is why the Scrub Cup is so exciting, because you see players who are not playing almost optimally, not using their ults in the exact nice to be perfect way, they're using them for full team wipes, full yes. 5k's. And it's just, it's one of the best events. So I would say, if you're sub 2500 SR, and even if you're above 2500 SR, come along and watch the Scrub Cup or play in the Scrub Cup. Uh, wow, I haven't seen like this good of a game in ages. I have, I've watched my first set of pro games, but... Man, this is something else. The amount of just completely... <laughs> those ults, those ults. I am... Um, uh. The amount of ult, the amount of wipes that happen, the amount of 3k and 2k ults, and 4k and 5k, and... I mean, the amount of ults that were so effective and brutal in that game was, were, you know, innumerable. They were obviously probably being saved a bit too much at certain times, but when they were used, they were so brutal. Team One Tricks address doing so much with that blade. Valkar getting lovely grabs, drops on that Bastion, getting some lovely tank mode shots, and she's hitting normal shots as Bastion. Yep. Then you saw Caveman with his lovely barrages, you saw Burn Thunder on the Genji doing so much, and oh. you saw Swift getting mad reses. It seems like they want to play more. They want to hungry. play they want to play more, they're hungry. <laughs> Team Flex is hungry to make a comeback. When Let's I go said, to Nepal. When I said that was what when I said that was the last map, it technically was if we were playing a professional series. But we're not playing a professional game, we're playing for the Scrub Cups, we're going to a third map, we're going to the control map in Nepal. 
So, Nepal, who do you right. think would favor? I mean, I don't think this is a good map for Bastion, but the Genjis and the Zarya's that we've seen from Team One Trick. I'm, I'm getting confused. And bo both teams had very good Zayas and Genji, very good moments, very good grabs from Valkar, same from Eight of Fate, mate, very good Barrages combo with that grab, very good Blades combo with that grab, that's Burn Thunder and Cave Ban, and then he had a Drist, the Genji icon as well, doing so much work on that Genji, especially in that last point of Volskaya. Uh, and yes, these, these teams want to play most it's amazing, and we're going to Nepal and we'll go live. <laughs> I mean, it seems like teams also have, I mean, uh, pardon me. Uh, I am getting team names confused. All the time, it's 2 a.m. I'm not sure I'm casting. But uh, Drops' team, I don't remember the name. Team They're one having trick. the advantage. Yes, Team One Trick. They're having the advantage so far, but it is actually really close for a 2 0 score. I mean, Nepal? I'm not sure. Bastion isn't as effective here. Uh, so I believe in Team Flex. The team Flex probably does have the slight advantage here, but you know. Both teams running one unconventional pick here, a Torb from Tiger and a Bastion from Drops. Both not well known from their Nepal Shrine usage, not well known for their effectiveness here, but, you know, the rest of the team building almost identical comps. I believe actually exactly identical comps, if I'm not going blind. Yeah, yeah exactly identical comps, except yeah. from the Bastion and Torbjorn, from Tiger and... Tiger and Drops. We're seeing Valkar versus Swift oh. and Lucio. <laughs> Black no, 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 Bel Wait, Wait, Belzima wants to go Torb? Belzima now going Torb, so now oh, oh, my, oh no, this isn't a good pick. This is... okay. Oh, they're tricking us, casters. They're trying to. They're playing it for ah. the casters. They're tricking us out. They're making us think they're running main healer Lucio, but it's it's fine. Both teams are running the same cop, other than the Genji and other than the Torbjorn oh, sure. and the Bastion. And the Bastion. Yeah. So the fights are going to be ending up here. Drops sets up in that corner. Rodage just found with his shield up here, going for a mad tickle. Takes out Swift, and now both Winston's are in. Caveman doesn't have much support though. He's very low, taken out by the Bastion from Drops. And now Drops is staying alive here. Not much going on for him. Let's take a sense of his turret by the Elephant on the right side of the point. His turret does instantly go down. Taken out by Drops as he gets taken out himself by Bodacious Fam. Doing a lot of work on this Winston now. And now Symmetra is a lot, is quite far out of position, being dived onto Black Dragon, Adrist, Belsima, and. He's the point being back capped. Oh, aww. The point was really back capped by Caveman and. Uh, Swift, Swift the Lucio. Uh, Swift the Lucio, but Black Dragon picks up both of them. It's only Black Thunder really left in this fight. Take his best support him. They're just pushing them. They're they are, they are very confident, Team One Trick. One Trick being very confident. Possibly slightly overzealous, even if they push that hard. It looks like they're backing off a little bit, though. It looks like they're playing it smart. Don't want to get anyone picked off. But look what we have here. I believe that's Swift setting up on high ground on the left side. And Adrist finds him out. But let's just find misses his jump, but that scares off Adrist. They're down on Lucio in this fight. He's not going to be with him for a while. And drops, uses his bastion off. Try to be defended by Bodacious, trying to be defended by Burn Thunder, but Drops trying to get anything he can here. Kicks off Symmetra, that's no mercy for the side of Team Flex, and that much can have res, Symmetra can have res there. Meanwhile, Bat Dragon and Bodacious found team up to Ace of Fate Mate on that D.Va. This fight is all over the point, playing every single corner. Drop kicks off Swift, and now it's only the ulting Caveman. Oh, oh, oh. Does actually boop up the Lazima. <laughs> Whoa. He I don't him. think, it's no, that... Wait, Winston pops his ult, goes goes in. What a very bold play coming in from Bodacious Fam. He's playing quite aggressively now, and he is money punished by Fate Mate and his team. But it doesn't look like it will. So we're seeing the team for you in terms of ults, it's about even four ults on both sides right now. But the Diva Bomb is being used almost straight away. Nothing gained from Black Dragon there. The head of the Diva Bomb, the side of. Team one trick. And now overtime is good. They've been waiting on this trick for way too long. A diva bomb comes in. From AFM, it can't get anything anymore. Burn thought he uses his way. He gets through the foot quickly. Ooh, double man rest. A two man rest was measured after after Swift and Burn they get taken out. And now that's why they're being able to cross the point. No ults are very close to being available yet. Although they're fighting across the point, no ults really available. It's all nice about my skill, but they do have a beat drop from Swift that's gonna give them leverage in this fight. Black Dragon gets taken out of mech and drops. Gets killed by Burn Thunder. Burn Thunder with another one takes off Valkyrie. 
Se res! But there is a way to make a new Let's see them! You can take them back into this fight. They have one more shot at this fight, and Andres in the back row. That's his foul call, trying to pick up some extra. Can they do it? Caveman now has his ult up. Andres drops very close to his. Drop picks up Tega. As I'm saying, his name, it must be a Carson's miracle. And now Caveman using his run to beat them up the point. Trying to get his team from space. But drops is shredding and drops off Caveman. Another Winston off from Rodacious Fun. He's swimming left and right. A Diva Fun from Symmetra. A Blade from Fun. Oh, a Blade from Fun. And Fun Sima goes down. Ada Fate May picks up drops. This fight is still with Desert Beat Drop from Swift. Dusk of Black Dragon, Rodacious Fam goes burn fun, and it looks like it could be going in favor of Team One Trick, but they are getting all back on the point. Tiger's back, K-Man's back with a blade from Adris, takes off Tiger. K-Man picks off Black Dragon, this Adris played them so lethal today. Symmetra's coming back with Adris. Symmetra's coming back with Adris. Three man runs from Symmetra! Rodacious Fam does it get a fame, and Adris kills a fame, finishes him off, and I'm Beat Drop for the side. Off team flex from Swift, the Driss picks up Tiger, this fight is the longest I've ever seen! Bomb Thunder kills drops, Tiger kills Bermasima! They could be winning this Bomb Thunder kills Falco! What a long fight, they that was... I am blind, they capped the point during that! They capped yes, it earlier! It's it's 45% Harvey! I am blind, <laughs> I wasn't even aware, I didn't even see them cap it, but... That changes There's... everything, they have a 50% leverage, 50 seconds! I believe what they have to play with, what Team Wondrick have to work with. Yeah, but look, uh, they, I mean, Belsimo already has Rez up. This, uh, we, we, saw the, we saw the effectiveness of the draft test. But oh, he goes, he goes down. No Rez. As Burn Thunder, Burn Thunder with his blade. Already killed drops early in the fight, and we slashing at Black Dragon. Can't kill him, but he does kill Valkar earlier. Um, Heyman picks up Adrian's now, but Dacious Fam's ulting, kills Burn Thunder with his Winston with the Primal Rage. He's now hammering at Tiger. Black Dragon gets put out of mech. They almost, they almost got a quick cap on that, but they can't. And not being able to do the leverage, and Chaos going in very deep. He's got drops on him. Drops on the base, which up the Bastion. Didn't, doesn't get punished though. Drops on isn't that. on the Bastion, what is this? Drops is betraying our casters. Oh my, no. And the Ata Fate Mate has that deal when Valkar has the beat up and Asima has the red. Adrist has the blade. Adrist is playing. Can he get something? A demon form, I believe, from Ata Fate Mate picks oh, up Adrist. Adrist. Adrist, he can't get anything with the blade and he gets killed by Ata Fate Mate's bomb. Valkar picks off Tiger. It's such an intense fight. Freezing coming out. Winston's coming out. Winston goes for Asima. Black Dragon gets put on Omega. Beat up comes down, but Black Dragon's already out of mech. Doesn't save him there. Take it out, I'm gonna fight it at Fate, mate. It's in team, Flexus is fired. They'll see him that he did only just respawn. If they can hold this out for long enough, they'll see him could get back in red if he gets it dirty. But they have the May for the stall. They have the May for the stall, but Burn Thunder is getting closer and closer to his blade. Adrift on the charging up Pulse Bomb as well. All the ults are being charged. Burn Thunder now is his blade available. Burn Thunder with the blade! Can he get anything with it? Gets Adrift low! Gets Lucio, gets Valkyrie, he's down! Can he get a dress? A dress does survive. He doesn't survive. Melsima wins him, but a demon bomb. Both demon bombs coming out. Black Dragon picks up one. They trade. The demons trade out each other. But for the now, the male is so brutal. The male can surely win them this one. But some extra comes back in. A res, a beat drop as well. I believe that was from Swift. I have no so fucking long. idea what's happening anymore. A freeze from Drop the Zaker. Take us down to Barco with the assist from May. The bells of Nepal are ringing after this fight. There's so much going on. It looks like it could be in going in favor of Team One Trick, though. However, a C9 is always possible. If they jump on this one for a second, it's gonna go in favor of Team Flex. And now, oh no, Symmetra goes C9. Oh, they were, <laughs> they were so close to C9ing there. I believe Drop did save them. But Team One Trick finally get back onto the point. Being over here, and the man dies back in. Take a picture of Valkar. Swift the Vicious Band. Swift on Belsima. It's only dropped with a kill encounter, but it's only a demon that drops with the game man. He's the only one here, drops his mail, doesn't actually get it off, and now it's only a dress. He has to contest him as long as he can, but it's in oh. favor of Team Flex. They get, I believe that's the first map kind of round they've won, and it's oh. the longest map ever. Uh, that was quite the round. It's 2 a.m. I want to sleep, but I, I don't think I'll be getting any sleep tonight if this continues like this. This is amazing. I mean... I'm not sure how that long that round lasted, but that is a long round. That's a long fight for only one point. We've still got two more to go here. 
eat minimum two more to go. We could be going to five, four more to go. If they're lasting that long, we've got a lot more for you here at Overpugs, and we're seeing the cards picked up drops. Going well to Old Faithful, the Bastion. Belsima picking, trying to counter the casters. I know you, Belsima, you'll switch to Mercy with three seconds left. I think, yeah, you go. But Ada Fame picking up Diva, Swift picking up Lucio, Burn Thunder picking up McCree, Caveman on Winston, Symmetra on that Mercy, and Tiger. I believe it's a Torbjorn main, picking up Torbjorn Moor. And now we see Team One Trick moving straight to the point. Adris going for a deflect, can't get anything from it, but now they have this point control. When the point unlocks, it's going to be capped in favour of Team One Trick. Adris gets stunned by Burn Thunder, can't be killed, but Adris is going to be fearing for three now. The great counter. Meanwhile, Caveman goes in, dives, drops, drops, does get into direct form, but being taken to Defense Matrix by Caveman. Can't get him, but Tango and Swift both go down to back down to the Dacious Fam. Ada Fate Mate does get the trade coup onto Adris, but Dacious Fam dives back in on Symmetra now. Symmetra might be killed here by the Winston, but he can't get it. Does get away. Where did he even stuck. fight so far? Burn Thunder jumped off the edge. Burn Thunder, what are you doing? <laughs> Burn Thunder, with a true scrub couple, they jumped off the edge after pocket tanning Belsima. Both Ebers go out of mech, I believe. Swift picks up the kill on to Black Dragon's mech as AF Fate Mate gets killed by Data Fam. Swift getting so many last hits in this fight. A three balls of Bionic Kill on to Black Dragon, but it is. They're not capitalists, they're killing Tiger Enemy first. Where they? It. And now Tiger actually gets the contest. It does not matter in the tiny pit by maybe 5%. That could matter in the late game. It might not. It might. The Tiger does get pit, they can't engage it. That was quite a nice trickle from the side of Team One Trick. Symmetra, what are you doing? But Symmetra looks to have friends on the picked up and pocketed Far Mercy combo. Adris getting the final kill there. They'll see him getting the assist, and now they have to wait for Symmetra to respawn. But if we look at the ult, both Mercy's coming on res. Caveman very close to his Winston ult. Tiger very close to his Molten Core. But on the same this side, we have Belsima at the res. Drops at the Bastion ult. Valkar at that beat drop. And Bodacious Fam ready to use his Primal Rage. I mean, I must say, Diva Bomb at this point is quite strong. Oh, uh, Diva Bomb coming up, mate, mate, mate. Right now, but again, if you know, probably in the bit too high. I believe he may have stay mate there. And now drops in tank mode. A Diva Bomb. From Black Dragon, can't get anything. Adrift will kill Tiger. Drop finally gets one on Symmetra. Drops! Drops! Finally gets one! Finally gets three! Burn Thunders with and Symmetra all going down with a final shot of that tank form. And that's only Caveman and AFA man after being shredded through by drops. No focus on doing this fight. And he just decimates I mean, drop, them. Drops has no mercy. Drops is just dominating I mean, them. Drop, what, drop, what, a, what a play. Drops' his mercy is right there. But I, I understand. I mean, them. That, that is metaphorical. And yeah, what an odd moment. Oh. Uh, Molten Cores there. Bottom try to get that long range snipe Torbjorn. But Adris <laughs> does actually get picked up with the Molten Core. It is valuable. He does die. I believe he got stunned by Burn Thunder and that gives him that pick they need. K Man dives in onto that Bastion. Bastion to turret form. He has no Diva to DM him, but there is a Lucia there to support him. Black Dragon gets taken out there. And there's another tank form for Drops. He's back in there. He drops down to the lower level. He's flanking them on the point now. They do cap it though. Drop does pick up Swift. Address is Symmetra Res. Do we have to... A two man, a one man booth. Three man. There could be a fear in Resurrection. Oh, so Symmetra, just Symmetra held on to the res for so long. She surely was throwing a nice caveman there, but she's probably a bit too greedy for the side of Team Flex. She makes the move point very quickly. They have 90% do Team One Trick. Address knocks off Tager's turret, and they have to get on the point here. 96, 98. They're not going for it. Swift, Swift probably could have made it there. I don't know. He kind of, I, th I think he can. I think he thought he could make it, but maybe with some tricksy wall rides, he might have been able to contest that. That very odd, very odd play. Not sure if the tilts come in. I sure hope it's not, cause it's a friendly match. But I mean, I must say, Team One Trick is coming off pretty strong with the BM. I'm, I mean, I'm fine with a, a bit of BM, but don't overdo it. Like I love both teams. I love everyone, but. Just be friends. It's a friendly match. I hope they're not tilted. We I mean, Tiger! See a Torbjorn main? Possibly. Yeah. I believe Tiger might be a Torbjorn main. They're saying the same comp picked up, same character, same people. <laughs> he but is! Just... He's a Torbjorn main. For the side of, um... <laughs> for the side of Team Wars, he had the same comp, but... 
on the other side with eight fate mate to support. Swift going on to a Reaper. Instead, Cosmic's counter up by Dacia's fans was to both teams looking high around here with the speed boost. Valkyrie's team to get there quicker. That team is one trick getting there quicker. Now with Dacia's fans going for the tick on to Caveman. Caveman trying to stay alive with an Anonade. He's being here. He's taking too much damage here from Black Dragon. He's diving in even deeper as Caveman. He's so far deep, he's actually gone behind them. And now Swift getting there as well, I believe, to the Bastion. But Team Wanjik have control at the point. Team Wanjik, if they kept, Team Wanjik get a free cap here. Flex don't uh, really contest. It allows them to get any percent. Even if they win the fight, if we get free percentage, and it doesn't matter they're gonna win it after Symmetra and time to go down, as well as K Mountain drops. Swift doesn't so got that's... the drift, but it's surely a consolation pick at this point. The Anna and Reaper still in there. They could be massively trickled here. Especially when Swift is using Wraith Swarm. Especially when he's needed, especially when they're healing each other. They're staying in for way too long. This is such a good trickle. Black Dragon finally finishes them. That's gonna stop their push for forever. Like it's for another maybe seven or so seconds. Yeah, team one trick is already and it fit them so many ults. Look, they are they have Diva Bomb. They almost have beat. They they have res. Like I mean what I I want to see an analyzer though. They are coming close I, I want to see some nanovisor action. A Beyblade and an Nanovisor both available. That Diva is such a threat. As long as that Diva is alive, the Nanovisor and Beyblade can be instantly stopped. But now Swift going in quite aggressively. Can't get anything done. But he's not. I think he's now going behind the Donald or he's right behind the drop. So meanwhile, Tega, his turret picks off Valkyrie. Winston dives in. Heyman picks off a dress. It's dropped only. A resurrection from Belzima. But now he's feeding us so with his. Nanowizer! Nanowizer! Exactly what you said! Can he get anything? No, he can't. He can't kill the Bastion with the beat drop. He gets killed by Barkon eventually. But Swift and Ace and Fate make do pick them up. A death blossom for Swift takes off to a dress. Can only get one with his blade. Now it's only drops. He's been booted in the corner. Primal Rage trying to kill him. Does eventually die. Swift, but they do, they seem to want to win it, they seem to go to win it. Valkar dies to Swift, it's only Bodacious found left. Now Winston trying to retreat possibly, no he dies to Swift's Reaper, who did use a yeah, lot of at that fight. Swift's Reaper My was ultimate. really good, the Death Blossom, just the general killing. But I mean, Wildcard Sound Barrier onto the Nano Visor was on point. But uh, you, can, you, you can kill them both. Death Blossom, Diva was down. Very good play from Team Flex, but now they can't really afford to lose a fight. Let's see if it's a, I mean, Drops is on attack mode. Look at the flank Drops is going to. High ground. Look at this flank. All the way up, Drops on the high. Not actually do anything although he uses the tank form now. As Black Dragon uses the nerf, death, there's double team and Brock in a half pace. A team up on the Bastion, and it's time that goes down. Rest. Oh, the reaction from Symmetra, two names in army. Doesn't raise AF in it, or okay, man. Symmetra, they're still two down there, as Drops is off Tiger. It was too early for Symmetra. Surely, it's only Swift left, he dies. Not the best now they, now they need to rush to the point. They, they have about 10 seconds. They can I mean, they have Lucio. Get, Eight of eight. They make it back with eight of fate mate speed boost. They're going directly up to high ground, not the most direct route to the point. I'm not sure if they can make it now. Five seconds, and they've gone to high ground. Where have they gone to high ground? It's not the quickest way. Don't see nine. Three, no. Two. No. One. They're not gonna make it. No. Why? If they'd have gone through main, they would have been able to reach that swift. Bundler have both had their offensive off. Could have been what the enemy team, but they couldn't get them off. C nines are going in chats. Oh no. They had a full six back to go, but nothing. A bit unfortunate. But there's always room for improvement. It's fine. It's a scrub cup after all. And now online. we're seeing a fate mate go onto the diva off of that Ana and Swift going on to the May off of that Reaper. And meanwhile, it seems that the side of Team One Trick are being old, old and faithful, using the combo thing they use so much. Black Dragon's diva drops his bashing. Barcar and Lucio. They'll see me hitting mad raises of mercy. Adrift on the Blade Boy and Radacious Fam playing Winston. Yeah, and, and it is obviously working, so why, why fix it, right? But uh, I would like to see Tager go on Lucio, though, right now. They're lacking speed, they're lacking summon, but yeah. But let's see. This is the map uh, Team Flex 1. So, hopeful. An absolute epic of a map we saw last time. Can it be again? Swift going in very effective. He goes a free dive drop. He doesn't get frozen. He does eventually go to Tiger. As well as both Dacia's family down to Ace of Fate, mate. Now, Adrist does kill Caveman. That's both wins and down for both teams. 
And it looks like it could slightly be in favor of Team Flex after Bell Cena goes down to Burn Thunder. Look at Vilekyle going so aggressive. Going very aggressive. He's surely going to be punched by the Deep Roller. He's very bloodthirsty. He does. He's got some balls on him. He does die too swift, and it does go in favor of Team Flex after that kill. Looks like Team Wondrick are successfully disengaging as a team, working together, going to engage at the right time. And now a resurrection already available for the red side, for the side of Team Flex. Symmetra already has her res as well. Taker coming very close to that tran tranquility. And they have Fate Mate very close to that. Drops going so low. Well. White dro drops. Drop switch that's off the, switch on the bash was a That's, bad that's what you get for going off Bastion. Why? Gets picked you up by Swift on that para. And now a drift has become Swift. That is a one for one trade still, but two DPS characters are going down. And now a, a tranquility coming out. They're experiencing it. Tugger keeping them alive. But now we have Burn Thunder Blading. Picks up Belsima. Close to the res with Belsima. Even half the res. Stop the resurrecting this fight. Memo is risk. The counter is. No for Team Flex. Encounterance. Run through a Diva bomb for Team Flex. Can't get anything though. Neither team. But Team Flex will now be stalling because I don't think they can actually win this fight. They come as well, surely they're stalling it at this point. As Venetian or, or, come or wait. and kills Caveman, AF Fate Mate with Black Dragon, they surely can't go in favor of Team Flex. Only AF Fate Mate really team. on the point left. Swift in Ice Block, trying to continue for as long as he can. Back onto point is that Swift main. almost has Blizzard. Swift very quick Blizzard, Swift. 98, 99, that's ah, get it. But so he's close. going to have it next fight. Taker goes down to drops though, drops him a lot of work. Here's a Bastion name, but damn he's a good tracer. Picks off Tiger as well. But meanwhile, Burn Thunder and Caveman showing how divers are supposed to do it. Picks up a Drist and Belsima. Belsima has that Burn res as well. Drops. drops the same is actually really good. Drops is doing so much work here. He stops that dive. They had a two for one pick there, but drops picked off Burn Thunder, stopping one of the being active. And now they're freezing, they're not allowed to move. Did it get the end? Where is the soul? Drops is on the Zenyatta, the Zenyatta goes down. Drops is just going off! Dragon. I oh believe Black Dragon must have DM'd Defense Matrix. The ult from Swift, stopping him from being able to use it. And that surely means the fight loss from the Bodacious fam getting a lovely place where he's picking up a lot of kills. And also we saw Black, uh, I believe Black Dragon getting a lovely diva bomb picking up two kills there. And it's still Team Flex ahead, but Team Wonder looking better and better, and more, more and more like the favorite to win by the second here. Yeah, this is this may be the last round. I mean, look at the ults from Team Wonder; they're having the advantage. But if Team Flex can just try push, get the ults out, and gather, I believe in them. Beedrill now, a Dragon Blade, both Dragon Blades, a Drist and Burn Thunder both using them, but a Drist, he's the better Genji, Burn Thunder, Symmetra and Swift, all coming down to that lovely Blade of his, and that was surely going in favor of Team Flex. Oof, why is Winston staggering? Why, why, Winston and D.Va right now should just fly out, get out. They should Wait either the let themselves die or run away, but they're staying in. Look at the stagger. But meanwhile, drops. Winston's Pixel Symmetra, she's been holding that rest for a while now, and she does die to a pulse bomb and drops. She's not gonna get back in time, and... This Burn seems like that. They do have the overtime, this surely is it, but Swift is going for his best contest, he's doing his best job. Gets killed by Varkar, there is no one there to contest. He can't make it a fate, mate. GG. GG. Team One Trick wins it, a 3-0 overall, a 3-1 on this map. They'll see my mad reses, and we're gonna see the play of the game, and let's see who got it. Drops on the Bastion. Brutal player. Uh, I don't think... They, they want to do best to five, but I must sleep. Oh, look at this tank, by the way. I mean... I must say it's 3-0 to team one trick, but... I think we can agree that this was very close. Like, 3-0 doesn't do the game justice. The, the scoreline is 3-0, but it is... No way a 3-0 match. It's no way in any way was this matchup a 3-0. It was it was more of a 2-1 a possibly, you know, going to the... It should have... I should have gone to the third map, I believe. Just to showcase the player's skill more. It was such a close matchup. It was such a close game. 
So I thought, do you want to get an interview? My voice is hurting, but we can get an interview. Yeah, does anyone? I'll ask him one trick. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fancying a drift. Or, all drops. Probably the, the some of the MVPs from this game. Yeah. We saw great play from Swift. Great reses from Belsima and Symmetric. Burn Thunder got some nice blades. We can't forget Caveman and Eight of Fate, Eight of Fate Mate on uh, Volskaya. Almost every single player in this game had their moments. Every single player had the time when they were shining. Bodacious fans just shine through a lot of the game. Coming up in the kill feed quite often, not the one that gets shouted at, not the one that gets screamed for in the plays, but the one that is very consistent and very good. But And it seems that Drops does actually want to get an interview. It seems so. like, I, I, it seems like our MVP probably would go to either Drops or Adrift, and I would personally slightly favour Drops just because the Bastion has a nice little place in my heart, and that trace was very effective on that second point as well. We, we should switch channels, let's go to Hangout, Hangout I guess. Yeah. So that was a very, very brutal game. Uh, oh, two people are joining. Uh, oh, no, everyone's oh, joining. Oh, no. no, it's an interview. The whole team! Ever since I was a little boy, I always... <laughs> Alright, I always get it quiet down, quiet down, quiet down, down, quiet 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 down, so the first question goes to our uh, probably joint MVPs of the game, Adris and Drops. You made my voice hurt after that game. I was screaming for some of those plays. First, we'll go to Adris. <laughs> Tava was screaming a lot. Oh, what, what, do you, what do you what do you attribute so many of those triple and quadruple blades to? Um, um, honestly, my mom because she's always been there for me. <laughs> she's just so awesome, you know. And ever since I was a little boy, I just wanted to hold shift and left click. I mean, it, it worked. You did it. You did it pretty well. I'm proud of you. So, uh, well, this, dad, dad. this one's this one's to you, drops. We saw you play that so much bash in that game, and it was so brutal. Not much focus coming our way, but even when you were focused, you dealt with it amazingly. I'd like to comment, however, on your tracer play on the pool. We saw it for a very quick second, and you did so much work. Are you a scrub cut player? And if you are on the scrub cup, are you gonna play? I bash am a scrub tracer? cup player. I just play bastion on the scrub cup. Would you play some I mean, Tracer though? Yeah, I'd definitely play some Tracer. I've been practicing her. It showed. So I, I will definitely. Uh, I love that attack Junkrat, by the way. Those rip ties were amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I, I got Swift a couple of times with my weapon. Yeah. When I air shot that Genji. Yeah, but I have to <laughs> say that the Bastion was pretty annoying for the I whole know. time. Yeah. Usually in the corner, it, just staying there. I noticed it was no one was focusing me until the very last. I had every shot on me. I mean, so. that is why it's a scrap roll. We had uh, like an average of 2,000 SA. I mean, both teams can definitely learn from this. Yeah, but the other team had a lot more better players, and the only reason why they had uh, SR around us was because of Black Dragon. He is good. Black Dragon's really good, but his SR is really low. Eh, I'm sorry. We had like a, a bunch of dropouts anyway. It's hard. But I think uh, we were signing up for now, right? Yeah, so, um... I'm so I'm so glad to actually join this thing. It was pretty fun for me. Hey, this was really awesome. Fun. We held that point. Uh, yeah, with Winston, I just, had, was... I, I, I just I just <laughs> held that point right there. Like, So, to finish off the stream, I've been Harvey, I've been your screaming shoutcast for the day. My voice hurts. I'm gonna have a cup of nice honey tea. And to my co-master, <laughs> to Timu. That's very specific. To Timu. I had to leave them Timu, but... Yeah, um, I mean, we see both teams really energetic, having fun, and this is what the Scrub Cup's about. I know we've been plugging the Scrub Cup, but it's really an amazing thing. If you haven't, please check it out. The links are all down there. It's a lovely thing. So... As I said right before, I've been Harvey. I'm gonna go drink a cup of honey tea or something to clean my throat. And thank you from me, thank you from all the players, and thank you from Timu. Uh, I will go to sleep. It's two thirty a.m. It it has been a pleasure. I'm Tim and I'm out. Thank you for watching and goodbye.